Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 2 of 9. The next function is absolute value function. The step for sketching the graph. First, find the vertex point. The second one, find two points before and after vertex points and sketch V-shaped line that passes through the points. The basic shape for this function is V-shape. First, okay, we want to look at the basic graph for modulus AX plus B. This is the graph for FX equals to modulus X. How we can find the vertex point? We take the values We take the values inside modulus or absolute value and equal it with zero. So x is equals to zero. Then you can find your y modulus zero. So equals to zero. For tech points, zero, zero. The domain for absolute value function is negative infinity to infinity. And the range, we can refer to the graph. The, it is the vertex point is plot at the origin, 0, 0. The minimum value is 0 to infinity. The second one is modulus negative AX plus B. Negative is outside the modulus. This is the graph for FX equals to negative modulus X. For this function, okay, X is also equals to 0 for vertex point. So vertex point are the same 0, 0. If you compare this graph with the previous one, the second graph is downward. How we can determine which graph is the V-shape or downward V-shape? Uh, we can refer to the symbol in front of the modulus. So for the second one, the symbol is negative, that means downward. And from the previous one, uh, so actually it's positive. Uh, so when it is positive, it is upward. The domain for the second one is from negative infinity to infinity, all value of x. And for range, we start from negative infinity and it stop at y equals to 0. So the range is negative infinity to 0. There's no graph above the x-axis. The example, sketch the graph of fx equals to modulus 2x minus 1 minus 2. Find its domain and range. First step, find vertex point. Take 2x minus 1 and equate with 0. x will be equals to 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. Substitute y with value of x. Your y is equals to negative 2. What that point? 0 0.5, negative 2. Now we want to find two points before and after vertex point. We can also find more than two points. Okay, no problem. We also can find x and y intercept. Let's say I want to find y intercept. Y intercept when x equals to 0. Y equals to 2 times 0 minus 1 minus 2. You will get modulus negative 1. Okay, remember back properties of modulus absolute value. When there is negative value inside the modulus, it will be positive. Y is negative 1. For x intercept, when y equals to 0, 2x minus 1, 
modulus minus 2 equals to 0. Okay, now we want to solve for absolute value equation. We can change in this form. If you don't remember, please refer back to absolute value property. 2x minus 1 square equals to 4. So for quadratic equation, 2x minus 1 equals 2 plus minus square root of 4. Okay, don't forget to write plus minus. 2x minus 1 equals 2 positive 2. x equals 2, 3 over 2 or 1.5. Another value is 2x minus 1 equals to negative 2. x equals to negative 0 0.5. And now we can sketch the graph. After we sketch the y and x axis, plot the vertex point. Okay, another point is x and y intercept. So you will get V shape. Okay, remember your vertex point is at 0 0.5 and negative 2. Okay, don't forget to find domain and range. Your domain is negative infinity to infinity. While range is step from negative 2, the smallest value of y in this graph. Okay, until infinity. First example, sketch the graph of fx equals to 5 minus modulus x plus 1. Find its domain and range. Do you still remember how we can find the vertex point? Take x plus 1. x plus 1 equals to 0. x equals to negative 1. What is the value of y? y equals to 5 minus modulus negative 1 plus 1. y equals to 5. Vertex point is 0, 5. Proceed to find another point before and after the vertex point. We can find y intercept when x equals to 0 y equals to 5 minus modulus 0 plus 1 y equals to 4 okay y equals to 4 for x intercept when y equals to 0 the equation will be 5 minus modulus x plus 1 equals to 0. x plus 1 equals to 5. Change the form. Then square on both sides. Like the previous example. x plus 1 square equals to 25. We want to eliminate power of 2. So we have to square root plus minus square root 25. Proceed to find the value of x. So x plus 1 equals to positive 5. x equals to 4. Another one is x plus 1 equals to minus 5. x equals to negative 6. Okay, proceed to sketch the graph. The vertex point is negative 1, 5. Y and X intercept. Okay, this one is X intercept, negative 6 and 4. Y intercept is at 4. How we can determine that the graph is a V-shape or downward? We can look at the function. Okay, if the symbol in front of the modulus is negative, it means that your graph will be downward. If the symbol is positive in front of the modulus, the shape will be 
upward okay v shape let's proceed to domain and range for domain all value of x and for range and for range it start from it start from negative infinity and it stop at 5 okay the maximum so when it downward okay the graph is downward so it have a maximum value of y negative infinity to 5